And a standard benchmark was learning that while there are rights and freedoms that we celebrate that are guaranteed to us by the Constitution, that that was not a blank check. That our right to bear arms ends where the, another person's right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness begins. I believe we have a moral responsibility to call for change. Governor Whitmer, you campaigned on this issue. Many of your newly elected legislature campaigned on this issue. And there is no more clear message that it is our generation's responsibility, not my daughter's. And the time for change is now. Yes. Yes. With that, what are we asking today might be your question. End Gun Violence Michigan, as a sitting on the steering committee, is calling for the legislature in their first 100 days to adopt four key changes. First is to close a loophole by changing wording in the current legislation on universal background checks from handgun to firearm and pass legislation that requires true universal background checks for those purchasing a firearm. When we polled this, it received 90% support. Polling this, that is almost unheard of in any kind of legislation. Do it. Second, <laughs> introduce and pass legislation requiring homes with minor children, and for that matter, all homes, to safely store all their firearms. This comes with the realization that we now have more firearms in this country than we have people in population. That should disturb us. Additionally, this state must provide education, training, and funding to help gun owners store their guns safely. Third, introduce and pass legislation allowing family members an intimate partner and or law enforcement to file extreme risk protection orders. These are also known as red flag laws against individuals at risk for harming themselves or others. This le legislation would allow for the temporary removal of firearms for those at high risk of suicide or violence against others. Extreme risk protection orders must be approved by a court with a timely hearing ensuring the protection of the rights of those served. Create education and awareness to help people have access to filing extreme risk protection orders. Mm -hmm. yes. We know that when there is sexual assault and or domestic violence in a home, combined with the presence of gun, lethality increases. In fact, a domestic violence perpetrator with a gun their partner has five times more likely to be killed. While an extreme risk protection order should help protect domestic and sexual assault violence survivors, we're also calling for legislation that prohibits those convicted of sexual assault or domestic violence from owning firearms. I can't say this more clearly enough. All of these are practical and logical policy strategies as legislative goals aiming to honor the desire of rights of Michigan residents to own firearms while also working to make our homes, our communities, schools, places of worship, and public gathering places safer.